That, of course, was Zoe Armstrong doing a cover of Adele's Turning Tables. We are, of course, featuring the talent of, from the teen talent. The first preliminaries are coming up. As you know, we like to support the good things that young people are doing. And while uh, Zoe gets her microphone off, Cassandra, we have two other songstresses. Yes, we have Rodisha Singh directly across from me and Carla Miller. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Barbados. Yes. So preliminary number one, I understand, is this Sunday. I'll start with you, Rodisha. Which one will you be a part of this first this preliminary? So give us a little background on you and your, your singing. When did it start for you? Well, I started in church when I was like 10 or so. Mm -hmm. And I was shy. I still am shy, but I got used to singing in crowds. And then I got introduced to Richard Stout Teen Talent. And I came to the rehearsal, the workshop. And originally, I wasn't supposed to be a part of it. 
But after a while, Richard kind of made me a part of it without my permission. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. So then I signed up. I know I'm officially a part of it. Yeah. So you, that was enthusiastic yes. cooperation then. What do you think of the teen talent opportunity? I think it's a good opportunity to showcase your talent and to publicize um, Go ahead. The, the, the talents that you have today and Richard is a very generous, kind person, so most of the time is, is for a charitable cause. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So, Carla, let me ask you now what your experience has been with singing. Have you always been one, have you been one of the little girls singing into the brush in the mirror at home, or is this <laughs> new for you as well? No, I always love to sing. Um, from the time I was small, I always said I wanted to be a singer. And I actually started in primary school in the choir. And I... I started with going to the workshop um, last year, but Teen Talent had already passed. So I would until my time. I came every Wednesday and Thursday. Determination. Determination. <laughs> Look at that. And now it's my time to shine. So. Well, right. How are you going to, what are you going to be doing on stage come Sunday? I'm going to be singing and performing. Better. Singing. Which songs? Forget You and I Will Be. Okay. How did you choose the, the songs that you're going to do? Well, I chose Forgot You because that song like tells a story mm -hmm. and I like it. Mm -hmm. And I chose I Will Be because it's really inspiring. What about the range? Um, yeah, that great. as well? Okay. All right. Well, we just heard uh, your performance, Zoe. Well done. Good Thank stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, so, how, are you ready? You feel ready? Nervous? The competition? What, what's it looking like? You've been at the rehearsal, so... <laughs> It's looking good. Everybody is great. And we are all, even though we usually go on Thursdays and we just sing, we're like a family, mm -hmm. which is really good. But it's great. We are ready. I'm ready. And I have friends and family to push me and help me along the way. So you know, Cassandra, almost every single one of the contestants that's joined us on the show has said this about the Richest Out Teen Talent Competition, mm -hmm. the fact that it is like a family. You almost forget the word competition, but mm -hmm. it still is a competition. <laughs> so I want, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, a long, it's a long lead up to the finals. There's prelims, semis, different age groups. How do you think, and this is for all of you, how do you think you were going to stay the test of time right through till the finish, wherever your finish is? Because sometimes you get a little bit, you know, it's a little tiresome. Well, I always say that, um, I know it's a competition, but everybody has a chance of winning because everyone can sing mm -hmm. in Teen Talent, right? So even if you don't win, you always come out as a winner because they got publicity and stuff, and um, you're getting out there. And yeah. if the right person sees you when you sing, then you can become famous. Yeah, so you and just focus on being the best you can be. Yeah, go out there and do your best and know you win by doing your best even if you have won the competition. Excellent. Radisha, what do you think? Well, like Carla said, um, I don't, it doesn't matter to me if I win or they would love to win, but there's a lot of good people in the competition, way better than I had more experience than I did. And I think at least I made new friends, like she said it's a family, so everybody, I don't think anybody's competing mm -hmm. or just putting up a real good front of it. But <laughs> if I don't win, I don't win, is all. Okay. And now back to you, Zoe. Um, I basically think that all that time that you're taking of tearing somebody down or making them feel bad about themselves, you could use it to make a friend and you could use it also to help yourself and help that friend out instead of working so hard to tear somebody down because it's a so-called competition. But for us, it doesn't feel that way because we were, we were saying that Sunday, yeah. it doesn't feel like a competition. It just feels like we're showcasing our talents, which is good. Yeah. I think so. Well, we'll see how it goes on the actual we night. Will. <laughs> we will, because <laughs> those bright lights and the judges can change people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> choice of song and what you think you're best suited to. Um, that's always a bit of a, that's one of the key points that the judges look for if, you're the, if your sound is suited to the song you have chosen. How much were you involved in the choice of your song versus your sound and how much did Richard Stout help? Well, Richard Stout helps all of us by telling us if we're off key and he tells us to perform and don't be shy. He works on our um, courage and um, he always makes sure that a lot of people is in the workshop so you, you know you'll get 
feeling of it. Mm -hmm. so. Performing for an audience. Yes, please. Okay. Thanks. What about you? Your sound, um, the music you've chosen, and how well suited it is to your voice. Was that taken into consideration yeah. a lot? Um, when they first sang the song that I will sing today, Richard, I, I didn't sing it for an audience because usually there's a lot of people and I come late, so like, I have to sing last or around there. And he liked it. He told me that the range and the words and everything could fit the words, draw parts. But um, and he helps a lot. He's like, like um, Carlos says, he helps me when you're off key mm -hmm. or anything. And he's, he's honest, very honest and blatant. <laughs> so if you sound bad, he will say you sound bad and just do it over yeah. and over, over again mm -hmm. until you correct it. I'm sure you're, um, well, Mr. Stout helps with that. Your family gets to hear it a lot more. In the bath. Uh, and they yeah. will tell you if you sound bad. They'll be like, shut yeah. up. Just tell me shut up and say if you sound bad or not. Like you my know? sister, my sister, like, I don't know. Just my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. What sure, she loves you very much. <laughs> I'm sure, she doesn't. What about you, Zoe, uh, in deciding on the song? Did you decide, okay, this one is going to give me this much range and this one is going to allow me to be in my safe zone? How was it for you? Um, when I'm picking a song, I mostly look at how I can connect with the song mm -hmm. and also the range that I have, knowing that I can't sing like Mariah Carey but not like saying that I'm trying to sing like her I'm trying to bring my own thing but I also think of the emotional connection that I have with it and also how the audience can relate to it as well when I'm choosing the song but Mr. Stout he is very helpful yeah. he pushes you to that limit and he says okay you're you're here but we're trying to get you here yeah. which is inspirational the fact that he's helping all of us out to get to this point mm -hmm. and knowing what we want and the goal that we want to get there is you said something that's critical there and that is getting a song not only that you connect with and you understand and can deliver all the emotions connected to it but you can connect with the audience and the judges on the night that's, that's critical that's the best part well we're going to find out very shortly how Rhodesia Singh is going to connect with her jar of hearts as we return from our commercial break she'll be singing for us don't go away